Come on, bless the Lord in this house. He's worthy. He's worthy of the praise. Hallelujah. Anybody got a praise in here? That's no matter how tired they see you. And say, we come to lift him up. We come to lift him up above the stars, the moon, the Jupiter and Mars. We come to lift him up. Oh, bless his holy name. God bless you tonight. Amen. Give it up for Sonny and Sheriff. I mean the uh, IMC, the Lockhart. Amen. We're doing a marvelous job here tonight in this place and celebrating these eight years. I'm excited about being here. I'm excited because I come to make a presentation at this time of the man of the hour, the speaker that's going to come and share. I was just thinking the other day uh, when uh, the other Tuesday when he came out, he had to they waited and they waited and they waited for our president to come out and give his acceptance speech because he was waiting on the enemy to give their defeat speech. <laughs> Sometimes this what I'm saying. Couldn't come out in acceptance until the enemy said, I quit. So he had to come out and let you know that you know he had accepted it. What I really like about it, there was a party going on in Chicago. And they were standing on the outside and they were on the inside. 10,000 people, and everybody was sounding, shouting, and singing. And they were singing songs and just praising God and thanking God for what he had done for four more years. For four more years. And I thought as they were thinking, they were they they were as as they were thinking for what it had done, I said, yeah, I said, but yeah, I know somebody else we ought to thank. We ought to thank God for Jesus. And, and there's a man that's to me that's far higher than the President of the United States. He stands higher than the Queen of England. He's higher than any president of any country, any diplomat of any country. The reason I say he stands higher because he's God's in between. He stands and occupied between. See, there were some times when God said, I'm going to kill you. And he said, no, leave him alone. That one is on me. Uh, and y'all didn't know, Pastor, we did that. There were times when you should have died. But he said, no, I'm going to stand in between. And just like Moses. That's what Moses did. But when, when God said, I'm going to kill him, Moses said, no, this was on me. I'm going to stand in the gap and occupy. God told him to stand in the gap and occupy until I come. And so he got to take the hits, whether you know it or not. We feel the hits that you should have had that he has to take. Simply because he is your soul man. Y'all missed that. Well, you're here. He watches over your soul. Amen. And when you sleep in the stomach, he's watching over your soul. That's why Hebrews 13 told you, for this man, you ought to remember him. For this man, you ought to obey him. And for this man, you ought to salute him. This is your Bible. Read it when you go home. And if you tore it out, Bob and look, his Bible is in there too. It's in the Bible. You ought to do that for the man. And so it Nobody recognize that when I get ready to present this man, Springfield ought to recognize him. Do you hear what I'm saying? They ought to recognize him because you just don't know. There are times when he has to cry in the midnight hour. And so, oh Lord, I love what you've given me. There are times when he has to stand up and just pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray until heaven gets the news. But thanks be to God, God answers prayer. And I thank God for a prayer, a prayer, a prayer, praying preacher. We got him in the house today. I thank God for a preacher that if Brembo said he couldn't say nothing, he just waved his hand. I thank God for a preacher if he couldn't do nothing, he could sing his song. Somebody know what I'm talking about up in here. Well, I, I better get out of the way because they told me the best way that you can introduce a preacher is to get out of the way. So I'm in the way right now. There's a train on the track. Choo, choo, choo. And the train is getting ready to come in this house. And the personage of the pastor of the Springfield Baptist Church. Get those hands together the rest of the 